Naval traditions. Naval cookery. Did you know that on today's fashionable restaurant menus you can find dishes that were once invented by ordinary sailors? Take, for example, farinata. According to a legend, it was invented in the 13th century by Genoese sailors coming back home after their victory over Pisa. During a storm, several barrels with olive oil and chickpea flour broke in one of the ship's holds. Their contents mixed with the seawater and, as there were no more provisions left on the ship, the sailors tried to dry the mixture in the sun. The flatbreads turned out to be so tasty, they were called the Gold of Pisa. Or this one, Labskaus, is an old-time dish of North European sailors. Corned beef, herring, potatoes, pickled beetroot, eggs, onions and pickled cucumbers were all thrown into a cauldron and stewed for a long time. It is believed that Labskaus means a dish for sturdy men in one of the European dialects. In ancient Greece, the basis for the seafarer's diet was constituted by the so-called Mediterranean triad, wheat, olive oil and wine. Since it was mostly slaves who were rowers at that time, no one really cared about the diversity of their menu. Captains and merchants, on the other hand, are a different matter. Their tables were overflowing with delicacies. There were quite original solutions too. For example, it is known that the ancient Chinese fleet included ships used for growing rice, a sort of floating plantation. The most recognizable attribute of the seafarer's ration, the biscuit, has survived unchanged to this day. Oh, how many lives it has saved, this bulletproof piece of stale bread. During Columbus's expedition, every sailor received 50 grams of beans, half a liter of wine, and 700 grams of biscuits daily. That's the ration that once helped people discover new lands. Glory to His Majesty the Biscuit. The life of a sailor has never been easy. In the golden age of sailing, when Britain ruled the seas, food supplies on Royal Navy ships became the concern of the state. From the crown, sailors received a kilo of corned beef each week. Which could also... As for crackers, experienced sailors advised to eat them in the dark so you wouldn't see the worms swarming in them. While the rum provided to sailors on a daily basis was just a very diluted sweet pop wine. Surprisingly enough, English sailors never rioted because of bad food. In the second half of the 19th century, preserves were invented. The technology for packaging ready-to-use products into tin cans on an industrial scale revolutionized the ship's food procurement. Homemade fast food, though, didn't lose its popularity. During World War II, British and American sailors could have coffee with a sandwich, while in the action station, attendants on duty on the Japanese Imperial Fleet ships could grab a bite of onigiri, rice balls, filled with fish or vegetables. At the beginning of the 20th century, the Russian Imperial Navy served pasta with meat to sailors as a reward for heavy emergency work on the ship, for example, for the loading of coal. Today, there's hardly anyone in Russia who doesn't know pasta Navy style. Naval culinary tradition is a fusion of sailors' centuries-old experience, cultural traditions of different peoples, and governmental regulations. It is true, though, that today a sailor's meal doesn't differ much from that of an ordinary worker's at a factory canteen. Traditional naval dishes can be sampled at any port city restaurant.